How can you ensure a degree of innovation at Amazon if you grow in such a tremendous speed? Well, I think, first of all, you know, innovation has to be part of your DNA. Yeah, and so it, it is that you have to put both culture, organization, and technology in place to be able to support innovation. There's a whole culture around Amazon. You should look up the 14 leadership principles that we use to where we hire against and where we sort of also perform. We will look, look at people's performance against. All of those principles drive around customer focus, thinking big, because thinking small is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah? All of this kind of thing, making, being able to do bold decisions. And so you hire people that already have the capability to be independent. But we also have a process called the institutional yes. So you must have been in a meeting where someone proposes something new. And there's always somebody else in the meeting, in the room, that says, that won't work. That's not us. That's what we don't do. And as such, the person that proposes something new has to do all the work to convince everybody else. Now, we flip that around. In our environment, the ones that want to block things have to do all the work. Yeah? That takes care of 95% of the naysayers. Some of these things will work out, some of them won't. Uh, and I think the most important thing is that you, will continue, that you have a willingness to make bold bets and to continue to experiment and then double down on the things that do work well. How do you attract those kinds of highly ambitious, highly energy-driven people who really make a difference to the world? Now, a startup is one option. I do still see a lot of young people, you know, uh, wanting to work for Google and Apple or even uh, companies, companies like a Wimplecom, who in their markets is the most admired brand sometimes, you know, before Google and others. So I don't see that as a monotrend. But clearly the entrepreneurial stuff and the new process way of, you know, really uh, pursuing innovation is there. And that's why big corporates have to change their environment. The way we invite people to work with us, the degree of freedom which they have, the way they can fail or succeed in projects, the, the way they can really, you know, define their career, they, the way they, you know, get used to different processes than the old incumbent processes the way they get also financial support for entrepreneurs, entrepreneurial ideas inside the company, spin out or spin along, things like that. So in essence, that is the model of open innovation. The, the whole top-down reporting stuff is, is a killer for innovation because suddenly the structure of the organization becomes way more important than the small team moving ahead. If you're a small company, everybody talks the truth to each other. Yeah, you, you continuously, you tell each other the truth. If the company becomes bigger, suddenly the existence of the groups and the company themselves become more important than the product.